I mean, for real. Hi, guys. Shut up. We all believe Dr. Sebi a fraud, right? No, baby, like, you're on it. This is Antonio. Welcome back. My name is Paul Later, episode 15. I'm here with Jai He. I'm here with Cam, Mark, and Nick. Uh, Ryan is not here. He died this week, but he would like us to say Mo Bamba in him for him. So that's what we're doing. At the same time? Yes. Actually, all of us are one second apart, so it's kind of a unsynchronized type of thing. Okay. We're like just gonna start at random intervals and then stop. Mobamba. Mobamba. Over the course. Mobamba. 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 I'm gonna get money either way, so that's not a question you gotta ask me. I feel it. I like that. Uh, Cam, how you doing? Doing pretty moderate. Okay. Mark, how you doing? I'm doing great. Is that not great or great? I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. That's good. Nick, how you doing? Hi. Um. An interview for a new job tomorrow, so we'll see about that. Um, all right. So since Tonio is dealing with his haunted room, um, I guess I will be the one to step up and start us off with uh Big Soldier and I don't know if Rando Orton or Randy Orton. I don't know. Randy Orton. Oh, should I do say Randy, Randy Orton? So what do y'all think about that? That's I shit. think that it's a big soldier. Ever. Yeah, it is. But I mean, if we're being honest, I think a big soldier hopped in a ring with Randy Orton. Big soldier would come out on top. No, I'm stopping right there. Just being Probably. honest. I didn't know Randy Orton was Honestly, six seven. You on me, Tony. I walked, Tony, you on mute, bro. Honestly, if I walked in any ring with uh, any wrestler, I don't care who it is, I'd come out on top. Even you really bro, believe that? Sorry, you over oh, you over, you over Big Brocky? Do you really believe that? First of all, mm-hmm. first of all, first of all, I don't know how tall uh, Soulja Boy is, but he don't look very tall. Uh, Randy Orton is like six three. Randy Orton is six seven. Sure. <laughs> I didn't know that. That nigga is six, he's not seven. six seven, bro. He's yes, not he six seven. Well, he's six six. He's six something. Well, they oh, you know they kind of boost the inches a little bit. He might be six five. But he, that's still oh, tall. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, he like I'm, six five. Because I was just saying, the Undertaker is like six eight. And Randy Orton is like a lot shorter than that nigga. All I'm saying is, it don't matter. I'm six I'm four two forty. Soldier Boy, rather rather Randy Orton be six seven or six five or six four or six three. I don't think Soldier Boy is like. I don't think he's that tall. I, mean, I don't think Soldier Boy is six either. And Randy Orton be kind of yoked sometimes, depending on which side of the uh, the uh, steroid circulation he's on. I, don't, I just mm-hmm. yeah. I, just, I, just, I do steroids too. Six four two forty. I mean, like I said, are you black? <laughs> it don't matter whoever walk in the ring. I'm gonna still fuck the bitch asses up. Right. But you got you got you over me in the ring. All right, all right. But before before y'all go into who got who and going to the dick measuring contest, let's go over these tweets. Do y'all see it? Mm, yeah. We are getting official, guys. We are reading tweets on stream. Whoa, Tony, what's that tab right there? Yo, yeah, this Manscaped sponsorship might come a little bit quicker. What's tab? What's tab right there? Where? Nigga, we see the porn, bro. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> Yo, you on some different stuff. You got porn open on a non incognito like, tab. You I a like, freak ass nigga, bro. I like how like y'all do the same joke every time. Like <laughs> like it's never different. But all right, Soldier Boy, Big Draco. He says, "Yo, 
this rap game fricker than WWE. T bar. He said it like that. Um, I, we, you got a better Soulja Boy impression? No, I don't. I'm just asking. Man, it's a rap like game faker than WWE, man. Yeah, that, that sounds good. That sounds <laughs> yeah. Good. Right, right. Tony, you were good. <laughs> that was better. <laughs> Does the rap game take years off your life and leave you with countless injuries and debilitating pain? <laughs> or oh, well, maybe you should. You should just stick to your super soaking holes or whatever you just it is you did fifteen years ago. Fake? <laughs> How dare this prick step up? First, don't of all, like first before, before we even get into it, I I knew he was on something when he said prick. Don't nobody say this word. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> Wrestle, wrestlers are stuck in like a bygone era type shit. <laughs> he don't like movies. But- Question mark. Consider us actors that do stunts without pads, two hundred days a year, and don't bitch when we get <laughs> surgically repaired and come right back. Consider us a hundred times tougher than anyone you come across. Ain't nothing but a bitch. Ain't nothing but ass. a bitch ass. With Yo, you know what's funny? That? <laughs> That's not like what's what's funny? Funny? we're supposed to go to the end of that. I, don't, I, don't, I don't see why he was scared to say that because if he said nigga like before. There's video of Randy Orton saying nigga on Twitch. <laughs> like, just freely. No, something about it, something about him even saying prick, it's like everything about it just says he says nigga. All right, then he, then he double yeah, downs. No. P.S. Who, I don't know who this is, but. I forget which fucking, I think this, G, I don't know if it's J Balvin. Oh, but it's uh, it's one of those uh pop stars. What's it, G Bowler? Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Yeah. He said, "P.S. would beat the fuck out of you. Why? Because he sees our world. He respects it. He knows what it takes to find himself lucky to be a part of it. You want to talk fake upon that cheap ass chain and come work for it? You one hit wonder." Mother, motherfucker! Fucker. Everything about this, everything about this just screams n word. <laughs> I'm saying he's called this nigga. No, it's so it's so trying to be black. Like, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Uh-huh. All right, go ahead. He said, "Do you know who the fuck I am? I bring no real to wrestling. Don't play with me, Randy Orton." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Crank that Come on no seven And you had a hell of a year Serious cash Hats off to you my dude But here's one thing though I like I, I, I like rap I like rap I bump that shit all day Whenever it's Whenever it's Tunchy Meek The way he spelled J-Z What you call it Little What I do like to survive Fake the fuck that. come to my world and say that. I dare you. Dare you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm not he said Tunchi. Like I'm not he didn't just say low win. <laughs> he probably didn't need to say Tunchi. He really said J Z. J Z. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that. But uh You got re soldier. If you mad, I speak facts, just say that. What you do is fake, and I stand on that. What I do is real. Come to the real world. Uh, welcome to soldier world. He should have thrown nigga in there a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> is it like, I can't imagine a soldier boy since it don't end with a... You spitting facts? Seems like you spitting the same mess you rap about. Nut. Nut. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that right there? Clear your throat, no my idea. clear. Pause, pause. Nut, clear your throat, my dog. I don't know what that nigga. <laughs> what, what is this nigga talking about? <laughs> what is he talking about? Can, am I missing something, y'all? Nut, clear your throat, I my think dog. Nigga saying he got things in his throat. And be there. Enough talk. It. That whole tweet kind of sucks. Look at the third comment. 
<laughs> Nej. Nej. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Probably so is that tweet to, to indicate that he nutted in his mouth? <laughs> oh, is that what that's indicating? I had no idea what that was supposed to indicate. Uh, he did say, clear your throat, my dog. That's what I thought. Like, that's what yeah. I thought. As soon as you said it, that's what I thought. Like, <laughs> nut, clear your throat. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what that nigga was. And then he told him back it up. Uh, hey, how old is Randy Orton? Old as Probably, like, man. Probably at least in his 40s. Yeah, Either close to Ed is 40 or Ed is 40, so. Okay. Okay. So, you got with the bones. So, so, like so, I said, no matter who it is, anyone can step in the ring, I still beat the ass. No kidding. So, so, even after Randy Orton told him who he listened to, who rappers he listened to, you still think you can beat him? Even though he listens to Jay Z? <laughs> even though he listened to Toon Chang? Toon Chang. What else he said? I listen to. You listen to Toon Chang, bro? Me, me, was just so in oh. there. Why was he? <laughs> I don't know. Jay Z, Lil Wayne, Meat Mill. That's a, it's a, it's a, it's a weird company to have. But yeah, bro, I don't think niggas understand what Soulja Boy was telling the niggas. I sling that Draco and all that. He wasn't really joking, like he'll really shoot a nigga. Soulja Boy has really shot a nigga before. These wrestlers are not shooting each other. Man, so you can't okay a oh, bullet. I eat bullets. You eat bullets. You eat bullets. You eat bullets. You eat bullets. <laughs> you eat bullets. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Cent, though, he ate bullets too. You see, he can't call right <laughs> now. That scar. I don't know if y'all can see the scar, but a bullet. That what looks good. If you got hit in your hand, if you got hit in the hand my, and you still have that, I cross my hand because I try to catch it. it. You try to catch yeah. bullet. Catch it. What you think you that you think you Bruce Leroy? I think but, that's the Matrix. Did y'all watch Bruce Leroy? I don't, I don't know if that joke went over y'all head. I'm definitely went over my head. Yeah, I know. I knew Cam was gonna coach it. Bruce Leroy, they shot at him with a gun. He caught the bullet with his mouth between his teeth. He really aimed for me. That's crazy. So real sexy. Yeah. Oh, they got John Morant or some ignorant shit. I, didn't I know love it. Randy Orton from Knoxville, Tennessee. By the way, I I think that just makes it funny. For St. Louis, Missouri. Nick, you never answered my question. Oh, oh yeah. hold on. let me get this figured. I'm, I, I'm Did you hear what I said? Let me, let me, let me, let me just make, let me just make sure you're on the same page. You got me over you in the ring, or is that just no, not the I case? I got me over you. I'm six four, two forty. All you eat is junk food. Come on now, I got me. Huh? Who, who only eat junk food? Twenty five eight, twenty five eight. I got me. Nigga, nigga, see, nigga, see you eat. A, a couple Big Mac packs, and then all of a sudden, all you eat is junk food, niggas. Don't play with me like that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I got myself winning a, a tournament out of all of us, because y'all talking all this weight shit, but do y'all got hands? No. Gushy oh, yeah, Gang Royal it. Rumble, fuck it. How about that? Who coming out on top on that? Yeah. I've watched enough Royal Rumbles. I got the strategy down. Go go under the under the bottom rope. Just wait till the rest of the niggas fight Yeah. Out. What? And just go right back in the ring. <laughs> you think you'd be able to take on whoever the last one is like that? Yeah, they already tired. Nah, see, that's the plan. I'm going to really play the long ass con. I'm going to get in, go up through the bottom rope. See, niggas don't know the intricacies of a Royal Rumble. They're going to think, oh, he just eliminated himself. And they're going to continue wrestling. And when the last nigga eliminates somebody, he's going to get out the ring because, like, you're not going to stay in the ring forever. So when he gets out, I'll have won. What a big honor going under the bottom, bottom row, too. I'll get back in the ring mm. and tell them, hey, nigga, you ain't win. You got to come eliminate me. He's going to be so tired. And it's it's going to demoralize him <laughs> so much that he just went through a whole Royal Rumble and it's not over yet. He's going to, it's like mentally, I'm going to have such an edge. We'll be able to throw him out the ring easily. Honestly, if we all did a Royal Rumble and you did that, I know. I don't think I'd be mentally disheartened. Four personally. The, or five of the, no, no, the four of the six of us, we probably easy. I'll take them all out. 
I still have enough energy for you. It don't I matter. See, you kick your dumb ass out the ring. I don't want to hear none of that. I don't know, Tony. Yeah. You just kind of lanky. I, I feel like <laughs> niggas can handle you. you. You feel like niggas can handle pause. me? Pause, 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 pause. pause. <laughs> Firstly, pause. But secondly, I, I don't know. Like that, you just an easy toss out the ring. Yeah. I think niggas just gonna aim for you off rip. And then with it, well, all right. I mean, fuck. I mean, nigga. Well, if it takes if it takes three y'all to take me out, I I kind I can lose with pride now. No, I just mean like somebody will probably target you and try and toss you out the ring. And you think I'm just gonna go for that? You yeah. Think just, you think I'm gonna simply just going. let niggas take me out the ring? He can try all he want. <laughs> I ain't gonna love. I'm a highlight reel type of nigga. Like I'm had to suplex every nigga out the ring. I ain't just gonna throw you over the top. <laughs> yeah. You think I'm just gonna let it? You think I'm gonna let a nigga get close to me to like really try to grab me over the top rope? You really think that's happening? Uh, Well, I I think yeah, it might be kind of hard because you got long arms. They're gonna get close to him to throw him over the top rope, or is nothing just gonna happen? Wait, say that again. If he can't get close to you to the for him to throw you over the top rope, then you can't get close to him to throw him over the top rope. And it's just. Just <laughs> niggas not going over the top. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's the same thing when you said going under the bottom rope and wait for the other guy to come down. I can't lie. Nick was talking that high shit. I want to see him in hell in this cell. I can't even lie, bro. Bro, it don't matter. All, all five of y'all. Or, that Ryan. Do they, still do, do they still do Inferno matches? No. Well, yeah, probably. Bitches have always, they probably, it's probably still a thing they could do, but they're just not good. And Final Matches is never really cool. They only did it because they had Kane there. Like yeah. the concept, you would think it's a good concept, but it's really fucking hard to wrestle in a ring that's on fire. Sure. So they just don't really do that. Even in the video game concept, it was just like, it was just kind of weird. Yeah, like you, you, you gotta dodge like half of the ring. Like the area of the ring gets cut in like half, my nigga. Right. It, it really sucks. Next topic: um, oversimplified logos. Now, this started from Firefox changing his logo from the intricate fox to it just being a tail. Most people saying the fox is off of the logo, which is not true. It just is oversimplified. What made it a thing where people noticed that that's a thing with all logos, all corporate logos that just became something real intricate something 3d yeah. which was a thing back then because that was just the style and it reverted back to being the most simplest thing yet being able to tell what brand it is and now it's a bunch of videos of it and now i'm about to show y'all a video and then after that we can talk about it i really do hate that shit though i don't know it kind of remind me like the old super bowl logo and how intricate and cool they was and now it's just yeah and now and now it's just uh the trophy yeah. It's the trophy yeah. with the uh Mount. with the number yeah. a Roman number. Like this. This is nice. It's a beautiful sunny day yeah. with nothing around to unexpectedly irritate me. You know, maybe life isn't so bad after all. Wait a minute. What's happening to me? Hello? Is anyone there? I need help. Hello, Firefox. I am a corporate higher up. It's time to make you war. User friendly. Fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I knew this day would come, but not so soon. We have a very special oh, this is easy, so side just for you. We hope you're not gonna lie. It's kinda scary. Wait a minute. No. Don't turn me into an oversimplified look. Is it over? Am I done? Honestly, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Yeah, no. That was quality content. Ass. Like for the simple fact that it's it gets way harder and harder to identify the brand. Like you can tell it's Firefox because it's a fucking fox around the earth or whatever or whatever it's around. Compared to you know RP Ryan. Uh, could not say that during Asian Paris as well. 
So, how do, how do y'all feel about oversimplified logos? I feel like it's affecting yeah. a little more now that I saw that video. <laughs> nah, yeah, I've been feeling like it's kind of taking the originality out of everything. Like, it's just annoying because niggas are taking logos that were perfectly fine to change them. I never understood it. And it's just, I don't know. It's like brand identity goes a long way. Niggas are, are making their brands less identifiable. Shit is kind of annoying. I think that some of the updated logos um, were okay. But then Firefox completely took out the Fox or the Globe, yeah. whatever. And it makes it less appealing. Like that, like that's their identity, and you're completely taking that out. Um, yeah, the tail's put on there. But there was that one time last year where Instagram let you um, oh, yeah, change the logo back. <laughs> I personally like the old original Instagram logo. Um, I don't know if it's just because of nostalgia or anything, but I think that was like the best logo. I was on Instagram for about a month and then they changed it to that pink shit, that pink and purple one. Yeah. So basically you make shit get pink and all that? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, niggas, niggas need to change shit when I arrive. They have the old shit, what fantasies on this app. I was like, yeah, don't change everything. What fantasy. All right. So there was supposed to be a buggy review. But it was only in theaters, and nobody saw Boogie. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. If you went out your way to go to theaters to see Boogie. If it was literally on sure. any streaming yeah. service, I would have watched yeah. it. But... I was trying to see if it was um, be that is not one of those a... uh, websites that's like in the alleyways of the, old, of the internet. Yeah. Even on those. But um, I will <laughs> say, alleyways. I don't got nothing to say about this, but I know people who do. Drake dropped last Friday. It was cool. It was he. Oh my gosh, bro. It was pretty good. It was good. Oh my gosh. Only thing that stopped it from being perfect was Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. Rick you know, Ross. The first person I ever heard say they don't like Drake and Rick Ross together. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. Kind of ruined. What was it called? Devil in the New Dress for me, too. He just got bad everything. What? He just got bad yeah. everything after bad everything. I knew I knew niggas yeah. wouldn't like me saying that. But it had to be said. I don't like Rick Ross. I don't like his sound. I don't like his flow. That's because you I not, just don't like how you how you supposed to be a quote cool, unquote like rich nigga lifestyle and you don't like rich nigga music. I'm serious. I don't I don't I don't if care. If a nigga only I, rapped I, about getting money, I think I would enjoy his music. That's just me. Yeah, yeah. That didn't mean music that sounded like money. I think I would like it, but yeah, I guess I'm built different. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I, I guess you like, are. His music just sound like the inside of a Rolls Royce, but I guess it's just a, a quiet taste. You know what would be better than listening to music that sounds like the inside of a Rolls Royce, just being inside a Rolls Royce? Well, I, I can't well, be inside can't a Rolls Royce now, can I? I mean, if you can't be in a Rolls Royce at all times, dog. It brings the Rolls Royce to you. That shit brings a yacht. To what if my Rolls Royce was? Music. What if my Rolls Royce was somewhere getting repainted? Like, gotta. But uh, oh yeah, y- yeah. But yeah, I was with me. Justin Bieber dropped last, last Friday. How old are you? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Justin Bieber. That dropped. song with fire. The music video was fire. You said Justin Bieber? Yes, sir. What you, year is he, it? And how he old did are play you? the song when we was unboxing Pokemon cards. I can't lie. He, Justin Bieber kind of heated, though. I you, can't lie. You a believer, bro? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nick is a believer. Shout out to All him. All things. Okay. Drake did heat that hoe, though. I'm excited for CLB. I'm not excited for CLB, bro. <laughs> what? Why not? Because I've never been a Drake fan, but I admit good uh, music when I see good music. 
Okay, okay, okay. I was excited for Certified Boy Lover. Yes, sir. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I guess it's funny then. <laughs> That's what I want to hear, bro. <laughs> you want to hear yeah, Certified Boy, boy Lover? <laughs> At least you know what you want, I guess. Next week, I think we should have a, a job pod special. Um, we'll say that for June. <laughs> All right, all right. All right. About how you love boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said it. But you're a certified boy lover. Are you a certified boy lover? Next topic. All right. Next. So <laughs> I got. I got. Uh, let's start with. Um. Oh no. Pause. Let's talk about Kodak Black and Pooh Shiesty. Uh, so yes, this is the pettiest rap beef two niggas have ever had in life. Okay, it started when Lil Baby he got on the track. He said something along the lines of that money spreading on Instagram. I invented it. And Kodak came out and said, "Nah, bro, I was the one that invented. Uh, I was the one that really popularized the money spread." Which, in a way, he's 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 not lying. Oh, he was flexing. People were flexing money forever. Like, you know, Kodak, the one that really put niggas on to, like, doing it in different ways besides just fanning your money out. Really putting the money on your leg type shit, all that. So, yeah, he got that. And basically, Pooh Shiesty felt some type of way about it. Yeah, he, uh, he uh, reposted the Kodak's video. He said, this shit lame as fuck to me. You lost all my respect. And then Ted Kodak. Kodak responded by going live, basically. He said a couple things. One, he said that big B-R-R-R-R-R-R-L-D shit that Pooh Shiesty does. He said, oh, I came up with that too. Which, if you uh, if you uh, you look at the, you listen to the music, he has been doing it for a minute. Is that not Gucci Mane uh, thing? I was going to say. No, that's Burr. Talking about when he rolls his tongue, yeah. and I can't roll my tongue. It's not so big, like, big, 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 big. No, no, I, yeah. I just assume these things got that. But Gucci, like, Burr. yeah, there you go. yeah, yeah, it's that. So he told him, Yeah, I invented that too. He was just said, Calm your ass down, nigga. I ain't, I wasn't dissing you. I just said, I'm innovative. Who shites you just in this feelings type shit? And it was just really the pettiest shit I've ever seen two full grown men argue about. And who started spreading money first? Who should I start posting pictures from like 2012? Like, look, I've been spreading money and it's like, niggas don't really care. I, mean, I don't know. It There's was not just... really much to talk about that. I just wanted to know what it was. And that is one of the pettiest things is two rich niggas being like, nah, but I spread it money first. But nah, nah, you ain't uh, spreading money the way I spread my money. My money be spreading and spread is spread. It's like, no, bro. You're a full world man. All right, bro. Um, y'all wanna let's talk about the vegan teacher with the N word. How much is it to even talk about, man? Let's get into it. Are you racist? Anybody? Yes. 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 Right. Without a doubt. Hey, hey, Look at this beautiful child. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful smile, beautiful curly hair, beautiful skin. Look how adorable she is. What do you think about the idea of banning cruelty, but not words? Can you think of some words right now that are banned? What are they? What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? And how did we These get to this society? Is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the N word, but then people ban even saying the N word, then the N word becomes the X N word, the N word that used to be the other N word. And it never ends. It just goes on and on and on. What about other words? That take makes me uncomfortable. 
the C word. The yeah, this whole thing. The S word. Our voice. When does it end when we start <laughs> banning language? Is it a good idea, really? Or is it better <laughs> to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. Your wife, you will love saying that. Does this girl seem but to you like she might be naturally no. intelligent, gorgeous, generous, <laughs> exemplary, and radiant? Ah, with the ER, with the ER. Okay? Which one do you think is called a feed sound call? I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna lie, I just was feeling like how many views is that? It's just how many views it got? Because oh, it, it, it originally came from TikTok, so you got to count. No, no, this, she has, like, this the OG pose right here. No, is she, like, is she like serious? Is that like no? That's that, like... that's her that's her thing. She do this. She's a vegan thing, but she do every other things to promote her veganism. And like she like she she had this thing a while ago when she was rolling. Pe I don't know how to explain it, but she'll do some shit and be like, "Yeah, that's how cows feel. Go vegan." And then there was a video under it of some niggas burning up uh, cows from Minecraft and eating them. Yeah. Yeah, it, like, she she just like real in your face about the veganism and then she do shit. The same way 6 9 do shit to promote her music, promote his music, she do that same thing to promote her veganism. Yeah, she do to promote veganism. Which is very... But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I just feel like, why are white people just so... White people... This love offering just so many solutions and shit. It's like stop. I'm not gonna say I, like... I've never. Oh, no, go ahead. I'm not gonna say I've never seen this way of thinking before. And uh, you know, the first thing that came to my mind is uh, I Dubs when he was like, you know, either all of it's okay or none none of it's okay type of thing. Man, fuck I Dubs. He's a simp ass nigga. I don't want to hear nothing out of yeah, it. Like, I, I, I was just. I was, I was just pointing that out that, you know, this is definitely like a white person thing, you know. <laughs> no, I don't want to be. No, yeah. I, no I, I, I agree with you, though. When I first heard him say that, I was like, all right, well, I understand that we're thinking either everything's okay, but nothing's, or nothing's okay. But at the same time, I don't know. I just feel it's like, like girl, this happened with white. everything. This happened, this happened with everything. It'll be white people standing up for black people, telling black people how other black people should feel about a situation. Like, it'll be. And it would be uh, straight people telling other gay people how gay people feel about a situation. It, it almost it's never like, goes right. Yeah, it's like, like... I don't know, you're just interjecting and you're not actually being helpful. Especially if she's a vegan teacher trying to start making videos on race and shit. And she got, fired, just, from her, she got fired from Jonathan being a teacher because of her videos. And she just got banned from TikTok. I don't know how long she's been banned, but she's banned now. She should just stay that way. <laughs> Imagine going but, on TikTok and you see it. Well, actually, I mean, I guess that still happens on TikTok, though, anyway, though, right? I mean, TikTok got things like, uh, how do I know you say you're black without saying you're black? And then it'll be some white kid being like, I don't have a dad. It, like, it, it's just... <laughs> That's not funny, but it's like funny that they have the audacity to just go in there and do that. Yeah, TikTok. Yeah, well, most apps, this most apps, I think I don't get on a lot of apps as much anymore because I just I get upset real easily and I just get mad because I'm like people are so stupid, and it's not just white people, it's black people too. It'll be like some shit. It'll be, it'll be something as simple as, um. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know. But it'll be something simple, and it'll go from that to being like, "See, this is why y'all y'all don't respect black women." And it's just like, "Well, what? The, how the hell did we yeah, get no. here?" <laughs> it, it'll be like two niggas. It's like, and I think, I think it's even worse because of like the for you page system. Hmm. Um, for you page system it has so like everybody on this app has a chance to see it because usually like or like in YouTube for example, certain YouTubers. Hmm. Just have like smarter comment sessions. 
Yes. Because uh, that because they just uh, like they attract an audience of smart smarter people, or their content is is just it's geared in a way that um usually only somebody with comments like it, you don't really have a reason to say some stupid shit. But on TikTok, it's like a whole app sees it. That's how you find somebody to even follow. So it's like I don't know. It kind of gets like comments everything is just worse not worse but like the bad shit on tiktok you see because of that system like in order to find a good tiktok you gotta see like a couple bad ones type of shit it's uh okay you can go i was about to say when i the thing is it's it's so weird on i'm i'm really confused on how they just moderate the videos and the, and the type of stuff that's on there in general because i remember like i think last year i uploaded like a couple of tiktoks but there was one tiktok in specific that i uploaded where i had prank called the scammer and basically i just did a terrible joke i was like willis willis dick fit in your mouth because she fell for it like an idiot and i thought it was pretty funny but then Willis dick in my mouth got banned because I, and I just assumed that was because I said dick. So I said fair. So what I did was I just censored it and I put a chicken noise instead of dick because it, uh, and even then I don't think it would land all the way because Willis cock fit in your mouth. It doesn't make sense. But I was just trying to censor it to see how TikTok would do it. And it still got banned anyway. Yet I've seen I've seen way like. More yeah, like bro. uh I know I know what your problem. I know what your problem. I know exactly what your problem was. You didn't have you didn't have one of those TikTok sounds that everybody used under it. You ain't have yeah. you ain't have uh busted playing in the background. That's your problem. <laughs> but maybe no, just, uh, I've seen it's always the ones where it's like making fun of George Floyd for some reason. Some weird racist shit. Yeah. Always. I hate social media. But let's talk about Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny has been uh people who say nerfed. Nerf, <laughs> Nerf is just Nerf. a funny thing. <laughs> Nerf is just a funny thing. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think Lola Bunny created so many furry like it is, it is. I think Lola Bunny and the old song of the Hedgehog cartoon when they used to sexualize like Amy or Rouge the Bat and some shit. I think that created a lot. Whatever of her name is from Who Killed Roger Rabbit. Yes, her too. Oh yeah. But I'm not gonna lie. I kind of agree with it, dog. Like, oh, I don't think it really. Yeah, I don't think it really matters in the grand scheme of things. What it's like. This shit was a kids movie. Why do we have a character that is like so obviously kind of sexual a little bit? Oh, I agree with you 100%. I just thought it was funny that the internet was in a frenzy. Yeah. It's, it's they got in a frenzy over that, which is like I mean, there's plenty of Lola Bunny content on the internet if you want to get your freak on my nigga. But and then it's that, and there was a Pepe Le Pew. They're gonna remove him from the movie, and I was like, "Yeah." When I really thought about, it, I was like, "Yeah, bro, that nigga kind of strange." <laughs> like his whole his whole character is the sexual harassment. It was like I couldn't I couldn't disagree with what they did. It's the same thing with both of these. It's like I don't think a character in a child's movie should be, you know. Any niggas erect type shit. While we're here, can we talk about Super Straight? Oh wait, no. Before we talk about Super Straight, do y'all mm-hmm. have, have something to say about a uh, Lola Bunny? I like the New Jersey. I think it's drippy. I do like the New Jersey. Yeah, the New Jersey is hard. You are disgusting, bro. She's what do you think, bro? She's a little hippie. What? Oh, what? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what do you think? I was I was just gonna say in general though I I don't really care I'm gonna get zero bitches regardless but <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get money regardless. I, I, I mean like I mean like I, what does this change my me to bitches ratio I don't think it changes a lot honestly no Nick what did you say my bitches not gonna fuck 
fuck me because Lola Bunny is thick. I bro. said she's curvy, bro. She's curvy, too. And then look at them cheeks, bro. Them cheeks. Yo, you've got a problem. <laughs> you are you are a disgusting human being. There needs to be a neighborhood yeah, watch man. just dedicated to watching you. You are a menace. Yes? Oh. I didn't um, like. She looks like she has stuff a lot in them cheeks. I, 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 I didn't Dang. like. I didn't like the new right, dreams, bro. but they grew. All right, bro. We got to have to mute this nigga. <laughs> I didn't like yeah, the new dreams. I, li- but I they like grew. how it's a logo. I always like logos that go from like the shorts to the jersey. Mm. I always thought that was a a cool concept. I, I didn't think. like where it says two squad first. Like where it says two squad, the top, the font, but I don't know. It grew on me. Everything about it just grew on me. Yeah. And she got the little blonde I... bang. My little bunny gonna be bro, bad. Bro, little bro, bunny gonna bro, be bro, 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 bro. Like super straight. Mark, first of all, do you got anything to say about Lola Bunny? No, nah, I mean, it's, it's a it's a rabbit. Nick said it all, right? Nick said it you, all. You get you getting money regardless. Yeah, Nick all of that. I'm gonna go to Target regardless. So. No matter what, I'm gonna still dig in my butt. Oh wow! Can one of y'all start with uh the super street topic? You want to right, read so through this? Uh, no, no, not, no, no, no. Can, can y'all say your understanding of it? Bro, oh, okay, I, I just, got you. Okay, go ahead. All right, so basically it was a thing from TikTok where it's another one of those things where, like, straight people are wanting to be oppressed, basically. Well, not oppressed, but just... I mean, it's some people that's just using it to be a joke. Don't get me wrong. But other people, it's just more like a. Oh hey, look at me! Oh, yeah, who's that? Who, yeah, who's talking right now? Who who who's that on Facetime right now? We're doing our podcast. Who who just asked if we was doing a podcast? Cam. That was Cam. that was Cam. Cam, Cam nah. girl called. Cam yeah. girl called. Oh. Uh, ha 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 ha! I don't get bitches. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just I just knew I just knew it was like Mark uh or um Nick having a girl like one of their girls talking I, I was really get upset. Yeah, that was really unprofessional of me. My mom wanted to show me her passport. It was really cool, so I had to check it out. Okay. Right, I'm sorry. Okay. Keep going, uh, Jay. All right. So yeah. So yeah, it's basically for the people that take it serious. This is another one of those things. Or straight people are kind of being weird. Uh-huh. It's like I don't know. It's like oh my god, so gay people have their own pride, so we're gonna have our own pride, and it's like it's not really making sense. As it made a flag and everything. Yeah, like made a little logo and all that. It's like why do you care? Oh, so they want to like the same way people would be like. I'm gay and I'm proud. They want to be well. I'm straight and I'm proud. Yeah, yeah. Like when gay people put like the rainbow in their bio, niggas are putting that in their bio. It's it's legitimately the equivalent of Black Lives Matter. No, all lives matter. Blue lives yeah. matter. It's like, we, I don't know, no, bro. When I saw the memes though, I thought that shit was hilarious, but I didn't actually know the seriousness of the situation. I just thought it was pretty funny. This is a bunch of losers. Niggas just want to act like they're important or they have some and have some something TikTok? like just start on yeah TikTok. yeah. Uh, damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy. Are y'all super straight or super gay? Um, it I'm super in between. <laughs> super in between. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Bitches wasn't gonna fuck me if I was super anything. I'm super I'm sad, nigga. I'm bitches either way, so why does it matter if I pick a team, bro? Super gay nigga say what? I'm, huh? I'm super depressed. What? Come on, bro. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> bro. bro. I even think you can say well, he got you there. <laughs> uh, 
does. He said, he said, super gay niggas say what? And then they go, Martin just went on the whole tirade and said that shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> Still, oh, <man>. shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't got nothing else in the docket, though. Y'all got something else to talk about. Burger King said women belong in the kitchen. Oh, shit, that did <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 Burger King, <laughs> Burger King UK, Burger King UK said women belong in the kitchen as a bait and seeking text, a bait, a baiting seeking tactic, which worked. And immediately yeah. under it, it said if they want to, of course, to pursue their career in culinary arts, if that's what they want to do. And they are now providing scholarship programs for women if they work for Burger King. And yeah, to pursue their hey, culinary. The Burger King. Huh? That's just damage control. Fuck all that. If you haven't gone to Burger King, but no, it's Burger just... King yet, you need to go do that because it's good. No, I think I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the whole thing and that was just like, oh, no, we don't get the attention today. Oh, no, we, we, we going to be on the news. I don't today. care what woman you are. Fuck that scholarship. Don't work at fucking Burger King, yo. Shit, awful. <laughs> oh. Nigga, you, that scholarship won't be worth it. I promise you it won't. Just be smart. And, and, and like actual school and get a scholarship that way, bro. But what if they want to pursue in culinary? I'm sure you can get a, a scholarship for culinary arts from having good grades yeah, at high school. Get, you can get this shit out somewhere else, bro. Burger King? Bro, I'm pretty sure you could just... With culinary yeah. school, I'm almost definitely you could get a scholarship just by cooking like the, the admissions person a good fucking meal, right? So, bro... Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't go to culinary school. I, I'm just saying, I, I just feel like it's a lot more uh, flexible than just, like, regular college for a regular degree. A regular degree? What are you saying? People who go to culinary school aren't going to regular college and getting regular degrees? Nigga, I go to regular college for a regular degree. What I'm saying is... <laughs> yeah, you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Uh, uh, well. I, I don't just, know, Ken. I think, think you're gonna get. Tag me in. 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 Just tag me in. I got you, Ken. All right. I got you. Put your put your fucking hand in the camera, nigga. Tag me in. Wait, wait, wait. Before yeah, y'all tag me, I, like I just got a question. Your daughter tells you Burger King is going to be her path to success. How do you react? Go for it, <laughs> baby. Baby, we live in a mansion. Well, why you? What you mean, Burger King going to be your path to success? The- no, no, no. I'm not going to say that. Go for it. Success is the only person that can walk down their path to success is them. I I can't tell you how to live your life. I can recommend you stuff all day, but I can't tell you how to live your life. Baby, baby, we wipe our ass with hundred dollar bills. What are you going to Burger King for? (laughs) Yeah, that's what I'll say. But I mean, if you really want to do it, do it. Baby, I, you you gotta wake up in the morning and be yourself. I ain't gotta do that shit. I don't care. Baby, I got (laughs) baby, I got seven cars for seven days of the week. What you working at Burger King for? Maybe they just got like friends that they like at Burger King, or maybe they genuinely like the Whopper. I don't. I, who knows? Burger King is so ass. Burger King. I, I, you I, are right. Baking King slot, bro. I be purposely trying to yourself. ruin customer service so niggas don't come back and niggas still come back. It's ridiculous. Burger King is just so ass, bro. Every time I got something Burger King, I was like, oh, I just don't love myself today. Why did I do this? Bro, you eat Burger King, and it's just like, this tastes like I could be doing better right now. This tastes like, this shit <laughs> just tastes cheap. <laughs> McDonald's don't always taste cheap. It's not a good food, but McDonald's don't always taste cheap. Burger King always tastes cheap. That's, no, yeah, but that's five get smack, that's five smack. No, I hate Burger King oh, yeah, fries too. Burger, their fries are good. I hate the way they, they're I hate, joints. Banger fries. I hate the way their fries shaped. Why the fuck are they? Were their fries always that thick? Pause. <laughs> Wendy's, these, what these fries are better. McDonald's fries are better. Popeyes. I'm not saying that, but I'm not saying Burger King's fries are nasty either. Popeyes fries are better. For I mean, it's hard to have a nasty fry, bro. True, it's hard to ruin a fry. I think Burger King has the best fries. I'm just... Best? Please love yourself a little bit more for me. You don't get you know, Chick Fil A Popeyes. Chick Fil A waffle fries Look. are not the best fries. 
Who said Waffle Fries? I, have 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 I mean, I kind of, I kind of got it on Checkers and like Popeyes, like those heavy, heavily seasoned yeah. fries. The heavily seasoned fries. Yeah. I, hear, I think Popeyes are the best, but like the big, like fast food restaurants, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, stuff like that. I think Burger King are the best fries. No. You, were, fries you were insane, I, I think, right? I think they're they got a good length pause. Pause. I oh think my god. Thick enough pause. Oh my they're god. Uniform. Their uniform. You don't get those little tiny ass uh, potato bits you like wanna, you, you do at McDonald's. Money? Yes. Yes, I do. You like them? You like them when there's not just most in the ocean? He like when he fit in his mouth, right? That nigga lagging. Oh, you that nigga one. Nah, that nigga, that nigga probably lagging. You say he lagging. What are you talking about? Do you not this, see his camera? This phone? nigga. Oh. Uh, he shut nigga. his internet off. Nigga shut his internet off. He unplugged his router so that way. He didn't have to answer those questions. <laughs> yeah. I, went, I think he had AirPods and I think he double tapped it and it fucked everything up. Maybe his internet just shut down because they didn't want him saying that at all. Because what uh, he was saying was pure lunacy, right? Pretty much. Basically, um, he realized he said it was long and thick enough and was like, let me come in there, though. <laughs> y'all, y'all used to do that on, like, the old games. It'd be, like, the weirdest glitches. It was a glitch for 2K and it was a glitch for uh, GTA 5. It was a it was a money glitch, but for the money glitch to work, you had to reset the internet, or you I, had to it's cut just it. Not worth it. You had to oh, fucking he, he for sure. That shit was worth it for me. That, I made millions that day. I was like, oh man, how was Rockstar going past this one? Yeah, I mean, the GTA and then they got the ones where they still like the ones that are active in GTA right now. You got to join a nigga in a different lobby that's on a different aim setting. Yeah, it's been like that for a minute. And that's duplicating cars. I'd say, I, I be, was, I be straight oh, with that method ridiculous. because I do be having like, nerdy ass niggas on GTA that be in free aim session lobby, so I don't be tripping about it. I join a free aim Not session the lobby, then uh, change it. Like, honestly, you could just join a free aim session lobby and just add niggas. You'd be ready to go already. I, say, I don't I, know. I, I remember I made so much fucking money, bro. I bought I bought the fucking the Maze Bank uh shit in the middle of downtown. I bought the nicest white area. I've got all the fucking cars. It's beautiful. Then there was nothing else to do in that fucking game. Yeah, this all you can do in that game. Is. I was just, just be rich. I was just stroking my uh and I was just stroking my like ego, my one and zero ego. <sighs> It just wasn't getting nowhere. I Damn. do like waking up on my yacht. That's All right, Nick sure. has formerly died. I sure do like waking bro. up to no bitches and cry myself out of my sleep. Facts. Oh, BD. So, uh, anybody got anything else to talk about? Fuck Dr. Seuss. Uh, yeah. Uh, people was upset about Dr. Seuss. They was like, um... They thought cancel culture was canceling Dr. Seuss when in reality, the people who own Dr. Seuss at this point just stopped uh, selling the old book because it was racist shit, which is probably makes sense because he was old as hell. Yeah, he was born in 1904. There's no world in which he wasn't going to be racist. So, but yeah, I, I don't even think it was a cancel thing. It was just like, no, it wasn't just addressing thing. the fact that. It was just addressing the fact that some racist shit happened. But it was like cancel, quote unquote, cancel culture ain't saying nothing about it, but everybody was blaming it on cancel culture. So it, they, so it created a cancel, cancel culture. Yeah, no. Like, no it's just niggas love going there. Yeah, the internet is Niggas love place. going there. Mm. Uh, what else? I think that's all I got. That's about it. Uh, Ground hard to find God. Ground hard to find God. I'm gonna just say, uh, uh, let's see. Cam, how you doing? Perfect. I like it. Uh, Mark, how you doing? Great. Uh, how? How much? What's your KD right now? 
um about 2.15 yeah something like that no it's, it's not 2.15 i'm it's going 2. 48 5. and 20 so y'all do the math Nigga, I've been checking. It's 2.5. You're not slick. Y'all playing together? Oh, I didn't know if he meant like, yeah, I think he meant like my live, KD. Like, what's this match I'm it's in right 4 now? 4 right now. Oh, nigga. Uh, uh, I thought you meant like. Are y'all on Call of Duty right game. now? No, we're not. We're not. No, no, we're not. I was about to say, could you just. I'm just keeping tabs so that way I know I can try and be better than him. Well, you saw me look like off to the side. That's because I was looking at my phone. All right, uh, that's that'll be all. Name this part later, episode 15, I believe. Like button, subscribe button, bell icon. All of our videos be in the subscription description. I know Twitch on today, later on today. Um.